Hello, Ben here, and welcome to another video. Sorry it's taken so long since the last one, but sometimes, real life, it rears its ugly head and gets in the way. Today, my doorstep was blessed with a wonderful package from the amazing guys over at Gatehouse Gaming UK. I've had this huge box of goodies delivered, and today we're gonna crack it open and take a look and see what's inside. So, let's get on with it. Okay, wow. This thing is absolutely chock-a-block. I mean, there's so much in here. Guys, go check out Gatehouse Gaming. I'll put a link in the uh, description below uh, to their Facebook and Instagram. Um, I believe their website is incoming soon. But for now, let's take a look and see what's inside this thing. Okay, I'm just going to reach in and grab the first thing I can pick up. And it looks like it's um, a trapdoor and dungeon stone bases. These seem pretty nice. Let's open this up and take a look at some. Assuming I can, I can open it. One eternity later. Okay, so it turns out there's a little open tab um, just on the inside of each of these plastic tubs, which is really awesome because it means your bits aren't going to go flying out when the postman inevitably chucks them about the place. But um, if you're a little bit more challenged like myself, it does prove a bit of an issue to open. But uh, we got there in the end. Okay, so I guess this one is a trapdoor base, and this one is a stone base they look like quite nice resin casts um standard base size but i'm sure they do other base sizes i mean these are really nice i quite like i can get some detail on there i quite like that that's quite cool yeah that's pretty good i quite like that right what's the next thing next is looks like some basic Scatter terrain, got some crates and some bags there, nice fantasy. Well, I guess you could use that in a non-fantasy setting, there's no reason you couldn't. It seems to be 3D printed, which is a very nice amount of detail. Um, the 3D printer seems to be dialed in well. I don't know if that's the right thing to say, let me know in the comments below, any of you people who speak 3D print jargon, if I'm using it correctly. But yeah, the detail's quite nice and high. Um, only a little bit of tidying up necessary to get those painted. Yeah, they're quite good, I quite like those. Next up is some more bases. Uh, we've got shanty wood bases and Aztec stone bases. Ugh. And in these side, these we've got our nice, I guess that's the Aztec stone, because it doesn't look like wood. And, ah, and the wood. I quite like those wooden ones. I think they go very well with the trapdoors for like a Mordheim uh, army or, or a force gang, or the new one that Age of Sigma is doing Age of Sigma more time. I can't think what that's called now, but yep, that's pretty cool. The next ones we've got cobble circle bases and rickety bases. Again, the rickety bases are really nice. Look at those. That's pretty cool. I mean, you put the rickety bases and the uh, shanty wood bases together for an army. You get got a pack of each or something. You can have a quite nice varied looking army on there. And I quite like the round cobblestone bases as well. It makes me think of Ninja Turtles for some reason. I don't know, maybe their logo look like that. But they're very excellent as well. I look forward to painting those. What's next on the list? Oh, I've got my pile. Um, we've got some Hazy Dunes sand. This is really fine sand. I haven't opened this one, so I don't want to get it everywhere. But this is, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but that is super fine sand. In fact, I've got a number of sands here. I've got the Hazy Dunes. I've got Flaming Dunes, which is quite a nice rusty colour or red colour. And I've got... And I've got Scorch Dunes, which is quite nice. That's really good. Now, this sand, I believe, is desert sand uh, imported by the ton from Nambia. Uh, and it's super fine, which you can, you know, it's imported because it's super fine, which you can see there. Um, keeps it to the scale of the miniature. I mean, I probably wouldn't even paint this one if you wanted like a Mars terrain or some kind of, you know, interesting battlescape or something. I can see that going on a tank diorama really well. I think these are really, really good. Apparently they take really well to inks and washes. Um, I will experiment with that at some point, but these are, hmm, I like those a lot. Yeah, I like all those quite very much. Hmm, very good. Right, what's the next thing we got? Got myself some goldfish 
stuff you put at the bottom of a goldfish pond. No, this is uh, Mineral Madness. It's quite nice, interesting textures and colours there. I quite like those. Yeah, I didn't the Thiepkin, it screams out to me, but maybe that's just the goldfish um, theme I'm thinking of. But I like those a lot, actually. I could see you using you know, some nice clear ones in there and some um, coloured, they look almost like smooth glass. Yeah, I quite like that. Definitely find a use for those. And I've got some more scatter terrain here, some more barrels. I see a base hiding in there at the back. Let's open this one up and take a look. Um, some of these, are these resin cast? No, yes. Yeah, they are, they're resin cast, they're quite good. Let's get them now. I think these crates are 3D printed, which again, really nice level of detail on those. Yeah, very cool. I like those a lot. Very useful for things like D&D, or indeed even on your Warhammer boards. Uh, I've got here a snowy peak. You know I like my snow bases, so I will definitely be checking these out. I feel like on its own, I'm not going to get much done with that, but I, I've seen some bits in this box that I think this will complement very nicely, so you can get quite creative with these. Please excuse the dirt on my nails, by the way. Um, I know it's not very good for YouTube and I cut on my hand there, but um, I've been painting all day. Well, I haven't. I've been working all day and then painting, trying to get my Chaos uh, Demons done for a um, Warhammer Doubles event at Warhammer World later this month. So, uh, yeah, furiously painting... Um, corn demons. So in this one we've got dying grass, that's quite a nice texture, it's not your normal, yeah that's quite good, you don't normally see that for um, scatter grass very often, yeah that's really nice that one, I like that a lot. I feel like again you could mix that on some of the bases, the wooden bases and the shanty bases, I could see you putting some of that poking out of the gaps and things, could look really good, yeah very really nice, and this one's cool, Toxic Hedge. That's really cool. I like that a lot. It's like, I don't think the camera's picking it up, but it's almost luminous, like high vis, like a high vis jacket. Really luminous lichen. That's really, really good. Again, I can see Nurgle using this, or maybe even, I don't know, something else. It's cool. Uh, what we got here? Um, winter Thatch. That's a really good tech. Hmm, is that a bit longer than normal static grass? I don't know. It's quite nice though. Really nice colour, really um, reminds me of like, I don't know, like old thatch roofs. Oh, hence the name, I suppose. But yeah, I like that a lot. Again, mix that with the dying grass. You could get some really cool effects on like a World War II diorama or even on your space marine bases or something. It is cool. Uh, what do we have here? Forest floor, which is um, like a wood shaveny bark kind of texture. A bit big for wargaming, or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe you could find a use for it somewhere on a large base for something. Maybe Ariel for um, Sylvaneth in AOS, I'm not sure. But very cool nonetheless, and I can totally see that on a, a larger scale diorama that someone might put together. Very good. And I've got some pillows. No, uh, they're close to pillows. I'm guessing, that's quite a nice plug, there you go. I'm going to have a look at that, guys. I will put a link in the description as well. Um, these are... What are these? I'm going to open these and have a look. Sandbags, I think. Let's see. And, yeah, sandbags. 3D printed sandbags. Well, again, let's try and get that to focus. Can it focus for me? There we go. Really, really... Excuse my dirty hands. Really, really good um, detail on those. Again, if it's been dialed in. Don't know if that's the right terminology. Let me know, I'm sure the internet will let me know. Um, what else? Oh, these are cool. These are things, what are they? They look like um, cannons? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what these are. I think they're cannons, they've got a quite a lot. Oh, wow, that's good. They've got a lot of nice detail underneath. Again, I think that's a really sharp 3D print. Looks really good. Yeah, put a primer on that and you wouldn't even know that was a 3D print, I reckon. Yeah, it's cool terrain. I don't really know what it is, but it looks good. It looks good. Some ideas of that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, what's this? Da -da -da. Wastelands. Oh, it's quite a nice textured. Again, a different kind of sand or flock. No, it's definitely a sand. Hold on, can I focus again? There we go. Yeah, definitely a sand. That's the wow, I really like that. Good lot amount of texture. Again, I probably wouldn't even paint that. That would look so good. I'm, I'm thinking Imperial Guard, tanks. Um, orcs maybe? That's good. It's really cool. 
I mean, just sitting in the pot like that, it looks like something sitting next to a river. Put some water effects next to it. Could look really awesome. Yeah, that's really nice. And then we have, oh wow, yes, I've seen this. This is this is cool, lad. I'm totally using this on my fire slayers. I'm gonna rebase them all in this. This is a uh, lava lands. I was like, yeah, this is cool. I like this. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but it's almost like um, like a coal effect train ballast mixed with like a rusty fire red ballast. Gives a nice lavery effect or kind of fantasy lavery effect. That's really nice. Yeah, I really like that. Mm, I like it a lot. Yeah. And then these are cool. I saw these and I thought of winter. These are uh, cryo textures. Can I open these up? Let's pop these open and take a look at one. I'm going to have these little bits everywhere as well as the review goes on, but you'll have to learn to live with it. So these are like little stone crystal fragments. These are these are really cool. These make me think of. Um, uh, you know, what ogres used to be in fantasy. What are they now with the stone horns and things? I don't know. I can't remember. But they're on their bases, or maybe even something zinchy because it's kind of blue. Yeah, I like that a lot. Or if you were going for some kind of cracked ice effect. I don't know. I like those. Yeah, they're nice. That one's got some interesting colours. And if I can get it to focus, stupid phone. Yeah, it's nice. I like that a lot. Uh, ah, cool! Something I've been after for a long time, berry bushes. Um, or, you know, kind of floral effects. Ah, oh, look at those colours, that's wicked. Yeah, I can see those being used in a lot of things, actually. Yeah, I'm definitely, I might have to buy an army just to use that. That's really, really nice. It's a bit cracked, I think the, the delivery man decided to give the box a kick across the, across the van or something. But yeah, it's really, really nice, that is. This was one of these, not one of the sand that cracked. That's good. Uh, what else we got? We got some iceberg. This is really weighty, this box. These are heavy. I guess these are proper stones. But well, these are cool. I don't know about them being white, personally, but I mean, again, mix them with the snow and the, uh, the other crystal effects. You could get some really interesting effects on these. And um, the texture is really nice. So if you did want to paint them, I'm sure they'd take really well. So these nice stone effects. Some good angles and things there. It's good. Yes, I rather like those. Yep, they're good. And we got Moorland Heather. Ah, it's another one. It's very similar to the berries. I look at that. It's so good. Ah, oh. I don't know. I might kind of makes me want to paint a tank or something to put this just in a nice field. It's really really cool. Hmm, I like that a lot. Very nice. Okay, what's next in the box? We have marshland grass, which is, you know, your basic static grass. Nice colour though. Um, I was just about to say a darker grass, but it's not. There's a lot more going on in there. It's quite a nice mix. Again, there's nothing to stop you from mixing these up. You know, you don't have to base something just in um, this grass. You could you could put a bit of this in, bit of the dead grass, bit of the lichen, a little bit of the, um, the moorland heather, uh, the uh, winter thatch. Yeah, you, you could really create an interesting mix of your own um, concoction for these. Could look really good. Uh, we got, this is a cool one, Scrubland. This is really nice. Oh, look at that texture, that's great. I don't know, what is that? Is it stones? I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit and open this. I didn't wanna get it everywhere, but it's like a, ooh, that's weird. It's almost like, it's not quite wood. It's not quite sand, it's, it's kind of moist. There's little stones in there. That's really good. Forest floor kind of thing, perhaps uh, a Nurgle base. I could see that being used on. Mm, it's very nice. I seal that up tight. Don't want to get that anywhere. All over my fingers. Well, they were dirty anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, what's next? We have spring pasture. Is more like your standard. Um, well, it's got a bit more going on than your standard static, static grass. There's some nice browns in there and things. I quite like that. My garden looks a bit like this at the moment. I need to cut the mow the lawn. Make the, yeah, but I like that. That's really good. Again, mix it with some of the others. Could look really spectacular. And here we have permafrost, which unlike the icebergs is a super light box. I was not expecting this to be so light when I picked it up. It's like a little spongy white. Again, the texture is really good. I don't know what that's like. Do you ever eat um, rainbow drops as a kid? Anyone in the UK? Tasteless, horrible sweets. They looked a bit like that, but multicolored. There's a colored one there. I don't know where that came from. That's quite interesting. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, 
might find a use for those. Got an idea. What else? Oh, got some more bases. We've got ourselves some jungle floor bases and bamboo floor. So jungle floor for your catachans or your lizard men. There you go, some nice jungle floors. These look like a resin casket. A little rough around the edges, but again, you could just you could just file that down or trim it with a knife. That's no problem. Um, and the bamboo. Yeah, the bamboo is nice. Again, you could mix these two, make an interesting looking army with bamboo and jungle. They go well together, I think. Two, two packs of 10 in each of these base boxes. Uh, what else? There is, oh, this is nice. Autumn Moorland. Yeah, I like this a lot. It's like big clumps as well. Very interesting. But it's so, uh, it's, yeah, it feels good. Nice colors. The reds there and the browns and gray greens are slightly purple there. That's quite good. Yeah, I like those a lot. What else we got in here? This box is just chock full. We've got summer grass. Um, now this is more like your normal flock, just green, flocky grass. Again, mix it with one of the others. I think you can get some really nice concoctions. The other thing about these static grasses is they do seem to be looking in the box. They don't, you know, sometimes with static grass, they clump together and they just look a bit rubbish when you put them on the base, but these look quite nice and loose. They seem to separate nicely. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm shaking the box a lot or it, the box got a good shake when it was being delivered. Uh, we've got ourselves some sawmill, uh, sawdust. That's quite nice. Good, good effect. Ah, you know what? I think with a lot of these, if you mix them with something like water effect or one of GW's technical paints or even any colored paint, kind of made a mush and put them down, that could be quite an interesting texture. Um, yeah, good for your D&D &D inns with a less re reputable reputation. Sawdust on the floor and the elf bouncer, the troll bouncers, keeping everyone out. Savannah grass, again, a more uh, light brown static grass. Same affair as the rest. You get quite a lot. It doesn't look like a lot, but I'm thinking, looking at it, you get quite a lot of it in these boxes, which is quite nice. I assume these are the normal boxes when you order something. Um, there's quite a decent amount in there. And like I say, they're sealed, so they're not going to pop open on the way so you don't open your box and get static grass fly out and cause trouble. Gravel pit. Some nice looking gravel. Again, some really interesting textures in there and colours as well. I'm not sure if the scale, I guess the scale does work for wargaming. Yeah, I can see that working. Again, some really nice different textures, different colours in there. That's really good. Always a use. Again, you don't just use the one, do you? You mix them up and make something nice. Evergreen hedge. That's a really nice rich green. Again, I'm not 100% sure if the camera's picking that up. That's a super nice green. Not very, it's a very saturated green. I can see Sylvaneth or something using that. That's right, I really like that. I'm gonna find a, a reason to use that as well. That's definitely one of my favorites from in there. And then Bloodstone Ore. This is cool. Again, another really heavy box. So I guess this is just actual stones. But look at that, that's a really nice color. Again, mm, maybe they'll find a way onto my corn demon bases. Who knows? Depending on how much time I have, because I only have two weeks to paint everything. Because you know, I like to leave things to the last minute, like like everyone else. And that's the sound of the stuff I was taking out of the box falling down. What we got here, we have a U hedge, not U hedge, a U hedge. Um, yeah, it's nice. Oh, I really like that. Actually, I like the color. Nice, interesting texture. A bit different to the other stuff that's in here. Again, mixing it up with some of the other um, basing materials and flocks, you get yourself quite a nice. Yeah, quite like that. Mm, brilliant. What's the next thing we've got? Oh, a big old thing of scatter terrain. This looks like it. I'm going to open this one up. Ugh. Let's see. We've got ourselves some... Um, what are these? Sandbags? Again, these are 3D printed. They're really nice print. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below. I think it's really nice. I've seen some 3D printed stuff. I've seen some a friend of mine 3D prints. He does some really great stuff. Done some stuff for my house. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and he tells me about how, like, it's... The key is to get the detail in and and multiple passes and it you know I think these are probably up there with some of that we've got some three D printed barrels in a different in black it's playing funny with the light but they're quite nice yeah they're good for good for a tablet remind me of the barrels you've got piled up at Bugman's in Wine World uh, we've got some snakes no ropes ah oh, they're cool yeah I like the ropes and a I don't know what that is I guess it's a rolled up thing. I'm not 100% sure. Let's try focusing on that. There we go. I don't really know what that is. I'm sure someone will tell me, or I'll figure it out later. Uh, and a cool loot bag. Look at that. That's a little sack. Anyone's ever played the Elder Scrolls? They'll be full of apples and carrots and things. Skyrim. 
Yeah, they're 3D printed too. They're really nice. I like those a lot. Good scatter terrain for your dioramas or, or games. Things like uh, skirmish games like uh, Necromunda would benefit from this kind of thing. I'm sure, we do it. I'm sure they do a sci fi version. Um, oh, and uh, oh, wow, 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 wow. This is cool. Okay, so the last thing in here is a bit of a big boy. Let's have a look. We've got ourselves. Does that fit in the camera? Yeah. Well, the dog's coming in. Okay, let's see if I can't get that. Move the light round a little so you can see it. There we go. Yeah, it's a 3D printed, well, the roof comes off, I guess, so you can put things inside, but a 3D printed workshop. That's really nice. Really, really nice detail. Look at those bricks. Very nice detail on there. Now, I was told when this was sent to me that this was one of the prints that needed a little bit of work here and here. I'm pretty sure, judging by the other 3D printed stuff we've seen, um, yeah, look at that. I mean, that's pretty excellent, that is. Um, and the roof is amazing, too. Look at that. Look at those thatches real nice detail on there so yeah so I, I mean I'm gonna just fill that with a little bit of green stuff before I paint it but I look forward to painting that a lot um, that's really really awesome so again guys give us a like I mean you don't have to but you can it helps me a lot or it doesn't I don't really understand how it works but yeah give us a like give us uh, a share um, if you want to see these things being painted, um, they will be going up on my Instagram, which I'll link below, which is Paint by Fingers. Um, some of it's probably going to show up on the Herefordshire Wargaming Instagram as well, no doubt. Some of the basing stuff and things. Um, don't forget to give Gatehouse Gaming uh, UK a follow. Uh, links down below for their Facebook and their um, for their Facebook and their Instagram. Um, but yeah, that's it for me. I think this has gone on for long enough, but. Um, yeah, catch you on the flip side. Cheers. I'm going to go play with all these awesome new toys and things. Bye.